Hey guys, welcome back to Rusty Autoholic Garage. So I'm gonna really try to keep on track. I've got a lot of other stuff going on in my life right now. So life is very busy, especially trying to record all these episodes. But if I really want this thing running and driving by May, I've got to buckle down and just really work on it. So I actually got this on Saturday, but because my buddy Ronnie was here, I just didn't stop long enough to open it up. This is the CompuShift from HGM Automotive. So this is the TCU to run the AW4. So I thought in this quick little video tonight, I would unbox this on camera and show you everything that came in. And then I was thinking about taking it over to the AW4, which I'm kind of glad is still on the engine stand because I can go ahead and kind of hook this up while it's on the engine stand. I can even probably supply it power and make sure I can communicate with it and make sure everything works. Um, I almost rather do that right now before I put the AW4 in uh, Project Felicity. So anyway, I'm gonna get the camera set up. I'm gonna try a different camera angle tonight to do this quote unquote unboxing and let's see how it works out. So I'm gonna get the camera set up. I'll see you in a few seconds. Bye. Get that still, okay. So like I said, I haven't opened it up. I haven't seen inside of it. Um, I did get it a couple of days ago. So let's see everything that came in this kit. Really some heavy duty tape, let me tell you. Oh, that's clever. Whoever designed, whoever did their marketing and design, that was a stupendous design to make this fit in a flat rate box. I get high marks to that. Okay, so we have instructions. Congratulations on purchase, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, put those to the side for the moment. Now this should be it. And let me tell you, that is a phenomenal looking thing. So looks like it has micro USB. Would have been cool if it was USB-C, but I realize USB-C is still pretty new. This is a nice thing, let me tell you. Uh, this definitely feels aluminum. This is nice. So, there's the unit itself. We'll set it to the side. I think underneath here. Yep. This is the custom wiring harness that I requested for the AW4. Now, I can already tell there's still some wires that I need to do. And I knew that going in. Um, so positive, negative, uh, upshift, mode switch, speedo out. Oh. Oh, don't tell me I can tell it the speedometer. Oh, this is becoming very cool. Let's see. Mode LED. Overdrive indicator this is very nice i mean this is very nicely labeled it's i've seen these kits where they're like you know j2 j4 and everything here is um not that way everything is very nice man that's amazing that that got stuck in here so this is can communications this is nice I mean, this is a, ha, <laughs> cool. Yeah, and like I said, I had to call and kind of request this. This was not something that was readily available on their site. Okay, so this would plug into it like this. This is nice. I'm, I'm excited about this. 
So let's get the wiring harness out of the way. And I also had to get a couple of other pieces as well. Um, this is, I don't remember how many bar, but this is gonna measure the amount of boost that's being produced. Um, it's needed to talk to this, so I need to plug this in to uh, wherever I get my boost gauge from. Uh, this is, oh, the, the cable throttle position sensor. So I needed to order this because I have a mechanical diesel and this will tell the computer how much throttle I'm giving it. Um, came with some connectors. Uh, point for not being the nasty splice style. These are actually crimp connectors. I'm not gonna use them. I'm gonna use my own, which are waterproof, uh, just because it's a Jeep and I'm not gonna be the nicest to it. I'd much rather have waterproof connectors to it. Now this, this is rather huge, but this is gonna tell it how much throttle input I'm giving it. So that actually comes with way more cable on it than I was expecting. But uh, in terms of packaging and quality, I mean, this is, this is a big unit but it also feels aluminum. It's clearly not waterproof, which is fine. I'm not worried about it. Uh, I'll mount it like this. So the chances of water getting up in here are gonna be next to none because it's gonna be mounted so high. Uh, this, this is an excellent, excellent kit from uh, HGM. And again, like I said, I had to call and request this um, this was not something they currently had available. Yeah, this is nice. I'm actually really excited about this wiring harness. Uh, and just giving a quick look at the plugs, these all look correct. Oop, sorry, bumped the camera. Uh, see if I can get this all back in the box. Yeah, but I have to say, this is impressive, this CompuShift. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna mount this yet. Probably am gonna mount this inside the cab just to kind of protect it from as much heat as humanly possible. Um, and I know this can be programmed with Bluetooth, which is another reason to mount it inside the cab. Uh, it's just gonna give me greater connectivity. But overall, I have to say this is a very nice kit. Um, yeah, props on an extremely well executed design. Whoop. How do we do this? Oh, I see what happened. So yeah, if you're looking for a... Oh, I did not pack that correctly. What did I do wrong? Ah, just need to flip. Get this in the center, get that down. There we go. That feels better. Yeah, if you need an automatic transmission controller, please check out HGM Electronics. I'm I am completely impressed with this. Um, I think this is gonna work out very, very well. Okay, I realized I just boxed this back up. <clears throat> and again, I really like the packaging of this. I mean, this, this is gonna be nice. But as soon as I boxed it up, I realized I did not check to make sure all the plugs fit. So, I wanted to do that real quick. Now, I haven't really laid out this. Oh man, it even came with the boots for when you drill holes in your firewall. This is nice. This is a very nice quality product. 
I've bought and installed um, two different types of transmission controllers before. Uh, I have also done several different types of EFI controllers. Not a single one of them came with these nice quality boots. This, this is amazing. Um, I have nothing but high marks to give for that. So let me sort out everything real quick. This is map sensor. So this will not be on the transmission. This is TPS, which will not be on the transmission. This is indicator. This is all for internal gauges. So that doesn't even go through the firewall. This is neutral start, low range. Uh, I'd have to go through them. Oh, reverse. Oh, gotcha. Reverse lamp. Cool. Okay, that does not go through. So it must be this. Plug into shift lever loom, which is not that. It's this, which is not the cleanest thing in the world, and I need to clean it, but I'll be darned. Perfect fit, all the pins line up. And then this one, which I really should order a new harness because this one's kind of, I didn't realize this was broken until I was just looking at it right now. Man, this is, you know what? Let me get some cleaner real quick. Oh, I got some right here. Give me a sec. Oh, nothing like the smell of carb cleaner in the morning. You work on cars, you get used to it. Actually, my buddy Ronnie, who was just here, says he always knows when it's spring because it smells like um, Bondo. <laughs> Oddly enough, that's, that's what reminds him. So I might look into getting a new one of these harnesses because I didn't quite realize this was broken. Uh, but you know what, I got a 3D printer. I might be able to print that. But anyway, looking at this, it looks like I have one extra pin that's not in this harness. Hmm. Now, I might not need it, so I'm not worried about it, but that fits perfectly. So, I wonder what white and black. And it might just be an oddball thing that I don't need, so I'm not really concerned about it. I will look at a schematic, but I mean... That clearly fits. That clearly fits. Um, let's see what else is over here. I don't remember what that plug does. Oh, I saw this one. Hold on. Hold on. Trying to learn everything I have. Yep. This is... Oh, well, this says map sensor. Oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's why it would go through the firewall. Yep, that makes sense. So that's the map sensor. Sorry, I am still learning this. This is TPS. I also like that everything has different colors. I don't think I mentioned that yet. Because if you look, these are both three prong sensors and effectively they are the same but they went ahead and put different colors. And you know what? I really appreciate that. I mean, everything about this product is just so much better than the Micro Squirt with their Mega Shift firmware. Um, yeah, that's, that stuff was junk. Um, I'm sorry, it just was. Oh, that's the built-in fuse. Okay, that plug or the cover made it look like it was a plug. So it has a built-in uh, fuse. Yeah, I like that. Okay, what's this one? Oh, that's the CAN bus, that's right. That's right. If I need it, which 
We're not going to be running a CAN bus on this. But yeah, everything fits. Um, I need to look up what the one wire is that they don't have in there. I'm not worried about it uh, because they to straight up told me in all my email conversations that there might be one or two wires that they just do not use, which is fine. I'm not worried about it. Um, I didn't realize the wiring harness on my end was in such bad condition. Uh, and it looks like it splits there and does there. So I might look into getting a new harness for my AW4. Um, mostly because I'm worried about this connection staying. There is no clip on it, even though it's, it's really in there, let me tell you. Um, but I still might look into either getting a new harness or at least ordering this plug, pulling the pins out and putting it into a new connector. I actually might do that instead. That might be the cheaper route to go. But anyway, that's all I have for this current episode. I'm not gonna go ahead and hook this up to a car battery or anything yet. Um, I really wanna spend some time reading the instructions instead of wasting time on camera. But anyway, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing. If you have, thank you so much. The number of subscribers I've gotten over the past four months has been astronomical and I cannot thank you enough. It means the world to me. So anyway, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Good night.